With a not-so-gentle tug, the last bit of the last building came crashing down. It was the 24th and final building demolished using Recovery Act funds at Los Alamos National Laboratory's historic Technical Area 21. That's uh, accounted for 175,000 square feet of uh, footprint reduction. In its heyday, this was the high-temperature chemistry facility, the hub of the lab's work on research into using nuclear reactors to propel rockets in space. It was called Project Rover. But the work at Technical Area 21 either stopped or moved to new facilities. Of the $212 million in Recovery Act funding, $60 million went to demolition of unused buildings. It's a process that starts with removal of asbestos and other hazardous waste and disconnecting all utilities. Months of prep work culminates in demolition that can take only a few hours. He works his way around the building, weakening the, the pillars that hold the roof up. And he, he doesn't go in and grab them, but he just crushes them slightly so that they're weak enough that the weight of the roof slowly allows itself to drop. The most satisfying part of this uh, aside from just seeing all of the buildings uh, come down, is the fact that over the course of the past uh, year and a half, uh, the teams that have been working out here haven't had a significant injury. We uh, provided a service to clean up legacy buildings that dated from uh, just after World War II that had the potential to release contamination to the environment. And so we've reduced that risk and not only have we done it, but we've done it in a way that was very cost efficient. Jobs, economic opportunity, and environmental cleanup. The Recovery Act at Los Alamos. I'm Fred D'Souza for LANL TV.